going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this really cool data moshing effect from Travis Scott's Lamborghini High music video that I have been requested for so long now that I have finally uh, decided to make a tutorial on. This is the effect here that I've applied to um, Travis Scott's other music video, Praise the Lord. I'm gonna push play and you're gonna see what this data moshing does to the video. Right now, I am actually running 10.4.6, uh, so this should work on the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, once you install the plugin, you wanna go into the titles and generators, go down to generators, go down to the Final Cut Pro 10 data mosh, click and drag this into the timeline. And then what you wanna do is you wanna click on load file. This is the only part that I want within the whole entire project, let's say, to have this data mosh effect applied on. So now all I'm gonna do is click on open. When you click on load file, you wanna click and find the file, the video file that you want to import, and it will import it into the mosh window. Within the mosh window, you will have other controls such as effect start frame, you have effect end frame. So if we go to the beginning, you're gonna see the frames. So if I were to skim through the video, you're gonna see that the frames change, of course. So let's say you wanted to start at frame 45, just click on zero and type in 45, and you want it to end I don't know, within 78. What I want to do is I want to apply it to this whole clip. So I'm just going to set this to zero and I'm going to set this to back to how it was before, which is 9999. Now, once you are, once you've set that, what you want to do is you want to go down to iframe gap interval. If we lower this, the more interesting the effect we're going to get, I don't know, 700 or 750. And then if I go into P frame controls, I'm going to set the number of uh, repeats. I'm going to do 10. And then for the uh, P frame interval, I'm going to do 15. You can play around with these numbers, but that's just what I've set. You can um, easily go back and adjust these to how, to how you want it to be. And if you go into the custom interval controls, these controls allow you to further enhance the P frame intervals. Okay, and then if we go into the, the audio mosh toggle, right now it's unchecked. If you have it checked, it means it's going to audio mosh the video if it has audio. Um, so it's going to create like a like a data mosh within the effect if that makes sense So it's pretty much adding the effect to the audio as well I don't like it. So I just have it unchecked the output controls if you go to video bitrate right now It's set to 20,000. That's what I want it to be set at and then video width. I want it to be at 1920 for the just the standard 1920 by 1080 this can fluctuate depending on the if you have a 4k video or not Frames per second, it's either gonna be, like I said, 24, 30, 60, 120, whatever, how many frames you want this to be. It's more ideal if you set it to the original frame rate that it came with. So all you're gonna do now is click on mosh. It's gonna convert the video, it's gonna mosh it, it's gonna say it's making an awesome uh, moshed video, and then it's gonna finish. Then all you gotta do is click on show in finder to find the video, the exported video. And then all you're gonna do is just double click on the file and push play and see if the effect is what you want. And this is what I want it to look like. So this is the data mosh plugin from Pixel Film Studios. Link is gonna be in the description. So be sure to use the code in the description as well to get a, a uh, special discount. And uh, be sure to leave a like, guys, if you found this video to be helpful. Subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on a video like this one. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.